Welcome to Align Christ-Centered Yoga. My name is Linda and I'll be guiding our practice today. And today's practice is a memory verse flow. So we are memorizing scripture as we connect it with breath and movement as we write it on our hearts. Today's scripture verse comes to us from Paul's first letter to the Church of Corinth, 1 Corinthians. And these are his final instructions in his letter to this very broken church. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything in love. I think that's so applicable to our lives today. So we're going to hold on to that. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything in love. Go ahead and find your sitting bones. Rock a little bit side to side, front to back. Begin to just settle heavily into that block or blanket if your hips are elevated, the mat if you are down on the mat. Find this foundation. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. As you exhale, find that courage and that strength. Be courageous. Be strong. And inhale love, do everything in love. Begin to let the day fade away, closing your eyes if you're comfortable with that. Feeling the way that the body has already started to settle onto the mat. Noticing alignment. How does the body feel? Noticing energy level. Is this a practice where you'll pull back a little bit? Is this a practice where you'll push? Is your mind scattered or focused? Draw the attention to the breath. Maybe a little more deeply, a little more evenly. Take two more breaths here. The hands come down to the mat, taking a deep breath in. Bring those arms up, palms together, and exhaling, I invite you to come into cactus and just open up the chest. Inhale, arms rise, exhale, hands come down to the mat. So begin to connect movement with breath, leading with the breath. As you breathe in, push those arms up. As you exhale, open up across the chest. Inhale and rise. Exhale, let those hands float to the mat. Another breath like that. Add the scripture verse. As the arms rise, be on your guard. Come into that cactus arms, cow pose. Stand firm in the faith. Let the arms rise, be courageous. Hands fall, be strong. Do everything in love. One more time, adding that scripture verse. Be on your guard. Find your cow pose. Stand firm in the faith. Let the arms rise. Be courageous. Be strong. Hands come down to the mat. Do everything in love. I invite you to come off that block. Meet me in table, bringing any props that you have towards the front of the mat. Spreading those fingers wide, wrists will be underneath the shoulders. And today, thinking about courage and strength and standing firm. So really ground, feel the body pressing down towards the mat. Fingertips are going to grip a little bit in towards the wrist. Find the strength in those forearms. Press through the tops of your feet. And can you engage at the base of the throat? Belly button drawing into the spine and up a little bit. 
finding that banda across the hips, engaging the transversus abdominals. And then find cat and cow, but let's keep them strong today. So exhale and tilt those hips and draw the belly in as the back rises, find cat. And then tilt those hip points down towards the mat and let the chest come through those arms, open up, let the shoulder blades drop towards the hips, find cow. And two more times like this, just connecting to the breath, finding your pace. And continuing with cat and cow, connect it to the scripture verse. Be on your guard. Come into that cow. Stand firm in the faith. Come into cat. Be courageous. Be strong. Come into cow. Do everything in love. I invite you to curl your toes under. Bring the knees up and into the rib cage. Find that first downward facing dog. The head is just going to drop towards the mat. Shake it out. No, shake it out. Yes, begin to pedal through your feet. Maybe you move the hips a little bit, stretch up and down the sides of the body. What feels good? Where are you tight? Taking a deep breath in, heels rise, exhaling, bring those heels down towards the mat. As you settle into downward facing dog, just stay here and find your breath. Notice how the pose is talking to you. Where is the body a little tight? Where does this feel good? How can you find strength in the pose? And the next inhale, the right leg rises high. Gaze forward, bring the foot through the hands. Let the back knee tap down and up, back and forth here. So just opening up the psoas muscle in that back leg. Maybe two more times here. And then as you're ready, leave that back leg extended. If you have blocks, maybe you bring them to the base of your toes in the front. Begin to find a hamstring stretch as that front leg straightens and bends. So still connected to breath. I invite you to add the scripture verse. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Come into that hamstring stretch. Do everything in love. And can you, we begin to relax the body over the leg here. All ten toes, perhaps, facing forward. Maybe the toes of that front foot lift up, maybe not. Can you release any tension you're holding in the neck? Shake your head out, no, and yes. As you're ready, release and bring that front foot to the mat. Bring the back foot up to meet the front foot. And bending your knees, I invite you to bring your hands forward, lifting your heels, dropping hips to heels. We're heading into chair pose. So if this doesn't work for you coming into it this way, just come into chair. Press the feet down as the hips rise. Let the arms rise. Engage through the abdominals. Find your chair pose. Again, find the strength in the pose. Say the scripture verse. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything in love. I invite you to rise up. And exhale, bring those hands to the small of your back. Round the shoulders slightly forward, and then as you draw them back, round those shoulder blades underneath. Pressing into the small of the back, open up across the chest. And taking a deep breath in, let the arms rise, and exhale, bending your knees just a little bit for this first one. Find your forward fold. And shake your head out, no, and yes. 
and hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhaling, come down to the mat. Meet me in plank, stay in plank and find your breath. Say the scripture verse. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous, be strong. Do everything in love. Exhale, slowly come down to the mat, drop to your knees if you need to. And I invite you to come to Sphinx Pose, so just bring those forearms wide. Gently round the shoulders a little forward as the chest lifts and then push the chest through the um, arms. Shoulder blades will rotate back and down. Two more times here. Again, reconnecting to that breath. Inhale as you rise, exhale as you come down. I invite you to meet me in Sphinx. And again, just think about grounding. Strong practice today, very basic practice, but a strong practice. Pressing those feet down, engaging the abdominals at all three bandhas, hip to hip. Drawing the belly button in and up. Finding that strength at the base of the throat. Imagine the elbows drawing towards the hips and the hips drawing towards the elbows. Can you say the scripture verse? Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything in love. Exhale and release. Hands to the rib cage. I invite you to come through table. Tilt the hip points down towards the mat, curling the toes under. Meet me in downward facing dog. And checking in, just notice the effects of that sequence. Maybe the right side feels a little different than the left. On that next inhale, the left leg rises. And gaze forward, the foot comes through the hands and the back knee taps down and up. Again, what's going on on this side? What do you notice in that psoas muscle? It often gets very tight as we sit all day. If you're a runner or a cyclist, it gets very tight as well. And then as you're ready, just extend that back leg. Let that thigh rise up to the sky. Maybe you bring those blocks to the base of your big toe and little toe. That front leg straightens and bends. I invite you to continue here. Add the scripture verse. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous, be strong, do everything in love. Just hold that hamstring stretch, soften the upper body. Maybe that front foot, maybe the toes rise. Is the back foot facing forward? Consider making some adjustments in alignment. As you're ready, foot to the mat, knee over the ankle, that back foot come to the front, meet me in um, forward fold. Let the hands come forward, lift the heels, hips to heels. Fingers come back to the base of the little toe, press the heels down as the hips rise, stay here. Let the arms rise, find chair pose. We am finding the strength here, the anterior tibialis in the front of the shin, in the quadriceps, in the abs. Say the scripture verse. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything in love. I invite you to rise up. This time, bring the hands out to the side, gently round the shoulders forward, tuck them under and come back, palms up, open up. Find your back bend, find your breath. Deep breath in, arms rise, exhaling. 
find your forward fold. And this time, stay in forward fold for two breaths. Begin to find the release in the back. Maybe you move your legs a little bit. Visualize the hamstring muscles coming up and into the hips as the feet press down. Hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhale down. One leg back and then the other, meet me in plank. Stay in plank, find your breath. Say the scripture verse. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything in love. Exhale your way down to the mat. Find your back bend. Maybe you're in low cobra. Maybe you're in sphinx. Maybe you're all the way up in upward facing dog. Wherever you are, choose your back bend and stay there for two breaths. And play with the distribution of weight a little bit. Find what's right for you. And as you're ready, exhale your way back to downward facing dog. Stay here for three breaths. Check in. Notice what you notice. Find the strength of the tripod. The triangle, I guess it's more accurately a triangle rather than a tripod. We've got four limbs pressing down here. On the next inhale, we're gonna start left. So raise that left leg up to the sky. Draw the gaze forward, float the foot through the hands, rise up into your lunge. Find a strong lunge. So one lunge here, it's kind of like a gym lunge. Drop that back knee down towards the mat and rise up. Pivot into your warrior two, bring your hands out. Again, finding this strong warrior two, I invite you to take the palms up so that the shoulders are rotated back and the chest is open. Draw the gaze forward, find your breath. So we're gonna twist with the upper body. Bring that back arm to the front, twist to the upper body towards that front knee. Bow and arrow, pull the arm back. Let the arrow fly. Bring that arm forward, around, and back. Peaceful warrior, side angle bend. Meet me in warrior two. Strong warrior, adding the scripture verse, bow and arrow. Be on your guard, stand firm in your faith. Be strong and courageous. Do everything in love, peaceful warrior, to side angle bend. And one more time through. Rotate the upper body. Be on your guard. Draw back. Stand firm in the faith. Be strong and courageous. Do everything in love. One more time, come back to that peaceful warrior. Cartwheel your way all the way forward, pivot that back foot. Back foot pushes off and comes to the front. Meet me in forward fold. Shake your head out no and yes. Go ahead and bring the hands forward, lift the heels, drop the hips. Hands come to the base of the little toes, press the feet down, rise into your chair. Anchor into chair, say the scripture verse here. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be strong and be, be courageous. Be strong. Do everything in love. Rise up. 
Bring the hands out to the side, rotate the shoulders forward, draw them all the way back, find your back bend. Deep breath in, arms rise, exhale, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway and exhale down. Meet me in a strong plank. You have an option for one push up here. Say the scripture verse. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything in love. Slowly come down to the mat. Find your back bend of choice. And meet me in downward facing dog. I invite you to take three breaths here and just check in body, mind, and soul. What do you notice? One more breath here. Right leg rises high. Gaze comes forward, foot comes all the way through, rise into your lunge. Find that strong lunge. Drop that back knee towards the mat. Bring it back up. Pivot into warrior two. Engage the abdominals. Imagine that the arms are resting on a countertop. Fingers are reaching from wall to wall. Pivot that upper body. Reach towards the front. Bow and arrow. Elbow pulls back. Release the arrows. Come forward all the way back around. Peaceful warrior to side angle bend. And again, finding warrior two. Take a breath. Here we go, add the scripture verse. Bring the upper body towards the front, arms forward. Be on your guard, pull that arrow back. Stand firm in the faith, release it, come forward. Be courageous, be strong. Back to warrior two, peaceful warrior, do everything in love. Side angle bend. Find your way back to warrior two. One more time. Pivot towards the front, bow and arrow. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything in love. Come over into that side angle bend. And one more time, peaceful warrior. And just pivot towards the front. Hands come to either side of that front foot. Front foot goes to the back. Meet me in plank. Option, one push up. Hold the plank. Make it as strong as you can. So plank is simply standing with a different gravitational pull. Those feet are flexed. Push the heels towards that wall behind you. Reach the head towards that wall in front of you. Grip the fingers a little bit more into the mat towards the wrist. Feel the strength from wrist to elbow and elbow to shoulder, from shoulder to hip and hip to heel. And then slowly come down to the mat. This time I invite you to come into table and child to table twice. Get you ready, come back to child and stay there. Begin to lengthen through the spine. Maybe those legs go a little narrower or wider. Are the arms in front of you or behind you? Bring the head to the mat, and if it doesn't quite reach the mat, maybe you have a block you can rest it on. 
Massage out the forehead side to side. Maybe you massage the forehead out from top to bottom as well, from the top of the forehead down towards the bridge of the nose. I invite you to settle here for a few more breaths. Checking and getting in again, noticing body, mind, and soul. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything with love. I invite you to stay here for one more breath. Gently press into your hands and rise up. Bring your feet forward. And feet wide in the mat, begin to drop them side to side. Massage out the glutes. Find any tight places, maybe release a little tension in that lower back. If you're ready, I invite you to come all the way down to the mat, knees bent. And for a breath, just notice the way the body has settled onto the mat. Hips, and lower back, middle back, shoulder blades, hands and feet, and head. As you're ready, draw your knees in, give yourself a hug and rock side to side. And then with the hands on the knees, gently bring the knees into the rib cage and away back and forth here. Just beginning to restore a more neutral position of the spine. Just realigning, finding that natural lower back curve. And as you're ready, bring your feet to the mat and extend them long. Windshield wiper the feet and bounce the knees and maybe wiggle the hips a little bit side to side. Go ahead and reach those hands all the way up to the sky and let the shoulders thump down. And do that once or twice more. And as you're ready, let the hands come down to the hips, palms up. Gently turn your head side to side. As you're ready, meet me at center and find your breath. Settling into Shavasana. Inviting the Holy Spirit to provide you with everything you need. As you stay on your guard, as you stand firm in faith, having access to all of God's power through his spirit. His courage, his strength, his love.
I invite you to stay here a little longer if you can. If you need to move on with your day, gently bring movement back, wiggling fingers and toes, rotating wrists and ankles, turning your head side to side. And that next inhale, bring arms up and overhead and reach wall to wall. And bend your knees and roll over onto your side. Take a couple of breaths there as your blood pressure and your heart beat to come back to normal. And that next inhale, press into your hands, rise up to a sitting position. Eyes still closed if you're comfortable with that. Find your sitting bones, find your breath. And check in one final time, body, mind, and soul. Noticing what has changed since you came to the practice today. Noticing also what has stayed the same, accepting it as it is. Taking a deep breath in, arms rise up and overhead, palms together, and exhaling, bring hands to heart. Finding breath, joining me in prayer. Father, we fall so short of the ideal. Sometimes we get tossed along like the waves with whatever the currents of our culture are. We forget to guard our hearts. So thank you, God, for this reminder that you are faithful and you are good and you are true and we can stand firm in our faith in you. We thank you for the courage and the strength that comes from your spirit. And we thank you from the love that comes from your spirit and pours through us into this world. Jesus, it is in your name that we pray. Amen. Thank you for practicing with me today.